Tropical storm warnings and watches are in place in coastal North Carolina this morning because of Hurricane Maria. The Category 1 storm is about 350 miles off the coast with winds of 80 miles an hour. The hurricane could deliver a storm surge to the Outer Banks as early as tomorrow. The storm is expected to start to move out to sea on Thursday. Puerto Rico's governor is calling on the Pentagon for more help after Hurricane Maria devastated much of the island. The majority of the territory's 3.4 million American citizens are still without power five days after the storm made landfall. At least 10 people were killed. Some are criticizing President Trump's lack of response. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton tweeted that the president and defense secretary should send the Navy to help. David Begno is at the San Juan Airport. David, good morning. Good morning. It is a sweat box in here. There are probably, I'd estimate, about 1,000 people in this terminal waiting to get a flight. Most of them have tickets, but some were told to leave last night to go sleep in another terminal, and now they got here, and they're in the back of the line this morning, fanning themselves with cardboard, and they've been doing it for more than 72 hours, even longer. It's just tough. It's hot constantly. There's nowhere to lie down. San Juan's main airport looks like a shelter. Hundreds of people slept on their suitcases. We have got very little money. We can just about scrape together one sandwich each per day. Sue Parker eventually got more cash. But as resources are running out, people are growing desperate. The food is not enough. The gas is not enough. So everybody's fighting to get whatever is available. Across the area, Puerto Ricans are waiting in long lines to buy fuel at gas stations. Hello. In the hard-hit region of Toa Baja, hundreds of people have stood under a cell phone tower searching for a signal to let their loved ones know they're okay. On the northwestern corner of the island, officials worry this 90-year-old dam is in danger of breaching after Maria dropped more than 15 inches of rain. 70,000 people were warned of flash flooding. Along the river in Isabella, your town, you've evacuated everyone? Yes, okay. everyone. Mayor Carlos Delgado says a dam failure would be catastrophic for people living in his city of Isabella and other towns that rely on this for drinking water. Drinking water is so scarce in some areas that people have been collecting it on the side of the road. In other places, it's everywhere, choking entire neighborhoods. Carmen Barrero's home was destroyed. It's not easy to start again, she said. I don't have anything. Back here at the airport, it's becoming somewhat confrontational as people are yelling at the gate agent saying, I have been waiting for days with children. Gail, here's one of the reasons so few commercial flights are able to get onto the island. The hurricane destroyed one of the transmission towers at the airport, reducing the radar that pilots need to fly in. And that's one reason so many of these people have been waiting to get off this island. Boy, David, thank you very much, David. The more you hear, the worse it is. I know people who still haven't heard from relatives in Puerto Rico and are taking the no news is good news, but they just can't get any kind of communication from there. I think there's a real question about whether the Pentagon should be sending additional yeah. resources to help people there. It's a very scary yeah. situation. Hillary Clinton made that point. Yeah, yesterday. she did. Thank you again, David Begno. He's reporting from Puerto Rico.